Welcome back to another Guardian Tales video, fellas. Today we're going to dive right into another PvP video. It should be relatively quick. I like how um, PvP battles work in this game, and we'll talk about that as we go. Do I want to change my team? I think it's the best I have so far, so we're still going to stick with it. Hopefully I'll be able to kill everybody with Nari. I had really good RNG in the last PvP video, so based on that logic, I'll probably have really bad RNG in this video, but hey... I feel like let's let's get this video out there here and let's make it happen. Now, the way the PvP works in this game, or at least arena mode, is you're going you're going against a live player, an actual person in real time. And for that reason, PvP is only ooh, she's quick. Is only open for please let me kill you before you get the buff. Nope, you got the buff. At least it looks like it. Um, PvP is only open for one to two hours a day to try to funnel all the player base into the same time. Which, I get. It's it's doable. Ooh, Marina is really good. It's, but not doing a lot. Of, there we go. That was a good damage hit. Can I get the ult off? I think we do. Okay. Took more damage than I probably needed to in that one, but he didn't get any buffs. Um, so I feel somewhat okay. And then Nara versus Nara. Hopefully I'm, I'm overgeared versus him. But my health is so low, please. I, I could take it. Now my next two characters... Um, I don't know. I've actually never used her in PvP before. So hopefully I can just land a couple hits. Um, Nari's really good at hiding around the pillar like you saw right there. And my Eva is not geared. So who knows, we might... We, we, this might be a rough one. Might be a rough start, fellas. But Nari's really good at kiting, really good at using the pillars to adv their advantage. And yeah, you can't even use the pillars to kite against Nari. So, oof. Close one, but took too much damage against the Marina. And we definitely paid for that one. So, starting off with an oof. But I am in a higher PvP bracket than last time, last video. So, this is basically what I would expect. I do need to replace this team, but I just don't have anybody ready to go. I will have Marina in a day or two. She is ready. Her weapon's halfway. She's almost leveled up. Um, so, that will be a thing. But we'll slowly get there. Now, even if you think you're going to lose, if you're like, ah, I hate PvP, whatever, because some people don't like it, um, you still want to go and get your losses because on a loss you get one medal, on a win you get two medals, and that currency is what you're going to use to buy very important accessories from the shop, which I don't think there's any other way to get them. So get in there, get your butt kicked. Vishu, I've actually had some difficulty in Vishu before. I'm getting a slightly better. You have to give him a really wide berth because those uh, melee attacks hit from like across the screen or maybe I was lagging or something. Took a little bit more damage there than I liked because again, I'm trying to do everything with Nari. Movie star Eugene. I should be able to kite Eugene. I think if they have the exclusive weapon, then it does shoot projectiles, but Nari's really good at working the pillar. And that's what happens in the next one. I think it's Nari versus Nari, which is a little bit troublesome because I'm already low in health, but hopefully I'm over geared because I put everything into my Nari. Whoo! Yeah, that Nari has no gear. So there we go, one and one. One and one, and there you go. You see you get the two medals. I think in a week I should be able to um, get the accessory because that's basically all my Nari needs to be done with gearing is to get the, what is it, the Minotaur accessory from the PvP shop, which would be nice to have. Come on. All right, and here we go, Plitvice. Very popular in PvP, I actually, or PvE, excuse me. I actually pulled one of these, but since she's a melee, I'm gonna try to catch her on pillars. Never seen her ult before, I guess that's what that was, or weapon skill. But I'm told Plitvice is good in PvE, not so much in PvP. And I guess that's probably why. Flower Girl Bari, she is dangerous. Hopefully I can try to get her out. I think she hits around the pillars. And the thing is, I need to be aggressive on her because I think she loads up her skills. She like charges it up and then blasts you for a, a billion damage. So you can't let her chill. Now, if I can kite this marine, it should be a wrap. Also, the opponent, their internet connection is not the best. Don't know if that's going to affect them. He is taking no damage. My full ult misses. I kind of disagree with that one. If I lose against this one, I don't think I'll be able to, to recover. And my ult misses. I was hoping he was going to run into it. 
Uh, that's the one downside of the ult. If they're a little bit far away, um, the ult will not retarget even if they run into it. So I was hoping he was going to run into me before I got the cast off. And it didn't go that well. He's using the pillar. I, let's see what that ult does. I never get to play Eva. When I'm done with my priority heroes, I would like to get her exclusive weapon and see what she can do. Now, I don't know if Lon can do any damage here. Also, doesn't have the exclusive weapon. Um, so it looks like now, I think the only character I have that can do any damage, I think I completely missed that. Only, only hero I have that can do any damage to Marina on my roster so far is Nari. And I know I could use Nari as a later hero, but uh, I just, I don't want to do that. I know using my best hero first is not always the best strategy, I get that, but uh... I'm doing what I want to do, fellas. In the future, I probably will put my Marina first when she's geared up and she's ready to go. I'll put Nari in second, maybe Bari in third, or I might flip Nari and Bari. But I don't have Bari yet, so that's what we're going to do. All right, a Vishu. We took a hit there. One or two hits there. That actually hurt, hurt quite a bit. And then another Marina. How well I do on this is going to determine if I win this PvP match. Missing all those ults was a really big problem that I need to work on. There we go. Didn't miss that one. It's just I didn't want to risk being super close. I thought they were going to run into me before I got the cast off on the previous ones. Now, Tanya, she, her projectiles get blocked. So if I just work the pillar, it should not be a problem. Oh, opponent's connection. You're going to take my glory. But I actually did expect to win that one. The thing with Tanya is, if uh, she can't hit through the pillar, so if you just work the pillar, especially on Nari since you're curving attacks and they seek, um, you just, you'll drop her, no, no problem. I haven't lost to a Tinia, I and mean, I call her Tanya, but I think her name is Tinia, which is very similar to the medical condition where you have ringing in your ears. Tinia or Tinia? No, that's tinnitus. Tinia is um, ringworm. Tinea corporis, that's ringworm on your body. Tinea capitis, ringworm on your head. Tinea cruris, that's jock itch. That's your educational moment for today. Took me a second though. So yeah, she's jock itch, that's her name. All right, Marina with a skin. Um, hopefully we can, there's nothing else I can do other than just throwing my damage on this guy. There's no way I can stop him from getting that. But what I can try to do is stop him from getting any damage on me. And I failed at that. He took a big old chunk. So if you open the boxes, and that, uh, one of the strategies is to have a tanky hero open the... Wow, that's really good cosmetic. You have a tanky hero open the boxes. Uh-oh, you're lagging. Maybe it's my connection. But if you have a tanky hero open the boxes, they get that damage buff that you see on his head. Oh, uh, that was a straight DC. That would have been interesting. I would have, I would have wanted to fight the Eugene, especially with the damage buffs. Um, a little bit unfortunate. But we're getting through it. All right, so the first five attacks are one of the ones that give you the chance to earn medals. The next five, I guess, are just for fun. I don't know if I can lose any ranking points on these. But I do think if you do all 10 attacks per day, you're giving other players more chances to get their attacks off because there's going to be more people in the PvP queue. So maybe you're helping people out. And it's fun. I enjoy this mode. So hopefully we can run through the next five attacks real quick, wrap the video, and then I can get back to what i got to do. Okay, Marina, an aggressive Marina. I really don't want to take damage here. We already did one hit from Marina. Took a chunk out of my bar. Please die before you, that happens. Nope. And I take another two hits. Marina hit harder than some of the DPS characters. Good guy. And now they have the buff. Now, like I said, if I can work the pillar... We'll be okay. That He knows exactly what I'm trying to do. So he is being very aggressive. He got a couple hits in there. Uh, we definitely felt that. And who is next? Bari. Now here's the opposite. I need to be the aggressor in this one. At least that's what I think because I think Bari can hit right through. And there's really nothing I can do about that. Her attack seeks. She hits through the pillar. I can just try to get some damage in. And then again, my other heroes are very, very weak. So I don't know what else I can do here. One hit from that. That's obviously a geared Bari. One hit from Bari. Now I'm just chunked Eva. Pretty, pretty rough. 
but I did get some damage off, so hopefully we've got a chance. Can Lon does no damage. I don't know why people like Lon. She's so popular. Everyone's like, ah, oh, Lon's so good. Nari's so bad. Anybody who says that, it has no idea. They they're just echoing what other people have told them. Oh, you can lose rank points. So, it, it's a little bit interesting there as well. It's like, so if I can't if I can't earn medals, what's the incentive to do these extra attacks if I could lose my rank? I guess you could put, theoretically get more rank but you're just kind of risking it there. Who knows, we'll figure more out as we go. But all I, all I need is one more decent hero ready to roll and PVP is easy. Um, until I get into another rank and then it's all about gear. So another Marina. Doing the box strategy. Letting me get two free hits and so he gets no damage there. He gets um, one of the buffs, I think. And he disconnected. Yep, oh, he's connected back. Sounds like GG. We're on a black screen. Never had the black screen before. Well, it might be time to wrap this video. All right, fellas. As always, you get the idea. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next video.